How's it going guys, our Triple XC here, and uh, we are back with some more openings, finally. Uh, it took me a long time to find these guys, but these are uh, most of, if not all, of the Wave 4 Core Bakugan. Um, you saw uh, previously on the channel, I did the Dragonoid Ultra, the Gold Dragonoid Ultra 3-pack. Uh, that was a kind of a random find that a lot of people found on Amazon that was from Wave 4. Uh, but this is officially the uh, Wave 4 Cores. Uh, right now, I think um, some of the Wave 4 Ultras are starting to come out. Uh, so that's like, um, I don't know who's in there. Uh, a, b a bunch of different guys. I, I can't think of them right now. Uh, I'll throw a picture up right here of uh, the leaked picture I found. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to start off with Aquas Gorthion. And then we're going to do uh, these guys over here. And then I'll save the Pyrus guys for a second video. And we'll look at them uh, pretty closely. So uh, we'll start out with Aquas Gorthion here. Um, we have the, I want to say Ventus, maybe? of this already, maybe Chaos, uh, I'm not really sure, um, but uh, I do like the design of Gorthion. Um, look on the back here, we do see um, some of the Wave 4 cores here, and uh, we do have three of these that we're gonna be opening, but uh, not the Orlis trucks. I don't know how to find that, uh, maybe I just didn't get lucky, but uh, from pictures I found, it's like he's in like a, this separate shipment that I just couldn't find. I had to go all the way uh, two hours away and to six different stores, Walmart slash Targets, to find these things. So uh, I did the best I could, trust me. Um, but anyway, uh, normal packaging here. Everything's the same, and we're going to bust this guy open. Or I'll tell you what, we'll bust all three open here. Uh, so let's take a look at... Uh, so uh, Dark Ascendius, um, really cool. I love this design. I'm really uh, excited to get my hands on it. Uh, same thing down here with uh, the extras, the Chaos Hydras. I don't think I have that, or I didn't find it, or it wasn't on the shelf anyway. Um, but we're going to look at him too. And then also the Turtle Boy, uh, Tertonium Core Inventus, his uh, house faction, if you want to call it that. Uh, and the same cores uh, down there on the bottom. Uh, but we're going to break these open and show you guys uh, what they look like. And we'll talk about their evos and stuff like we have been doing. So, see you then. Alright guys, we're back and I uh, got everything out. Um, first uh, thing, they started putting the character cards in the, the plastic sleeves. You know that we get uh, a lot of the stuff in. Uh, these little things with the little recycle symbol on them. Uh, so, that is good. But, um, I don't know what it was about this Tertonium, but it was, it's almost like it got wet. Like, I don't understand what happened, but it's like, it feels really thin and flimsy. And the top of it is just bent to hell and back. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not very happy with that at all. Uh, the Cindius was okay. Still the usual bend of the packaging over there. Uh, and then the Gorthion was... Uh, a lot worse than that Cindius. Uh, so the Gorthion and the Tertonium, uh, very uh, poor condition coming out of the box. So I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I don't feel like complaining about it right now, but it's like, I mean, if, if these were cards in your deck, you couldn't, they're, they're unplayable. Uh, anyway, um, moving on to a lighter note, uh, the Bakugan themselves. Uh, this Gorthion actually comes with uh, the two uh, best cores of each uh, thing. Uh, we have a 300 red shield and a 253 uh, red fist, which are, uh, you know, the best ones that you can get for that. Character card wise, uh, we have Gorthion Core with uh, those two cores we just mentioned. Uh, I'll put the Evo up here for you. Uh, this is 300 B and one attack. And uh, for Victor, you draw a card. So uh, that could be interesting. Um, Aquas uh, might be able to use that, uh, you judge by that evolution on the screen there. Uh, but let's look at the figure here. Uh, he's really cool. I like the blue. The blue uh, makes a lot of his details come out, like on the front and on his face, I find. Uh, but it does have the light blue to accent. And of course, Gorthion has like this really dumb backside where it's kind of like plain and boring, but then he has this really detailed front side. Uh, I, it's kind of funny. Um, but he does open up really easily. Uh, so we have found uh, through some testing and just playing around with him. We haven't really found a Gorthion yet that we want to use necessarily, uh, but we're still testing a bunch of things. So um, ball form, of course, Gorthion's real easy. Just kind of close, close, and head uh, down, and there he is. So ball form there, he's got his little hands, and uh, there you go. Uh, can, I, can I get him to roll out? Probably not. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that didn't really work, but anyway, uh, there's Gorthion. So uh, a new guy, we have Corsindius. This is the first uh, version 
of this Bakugan that we have gotten. We have Ultra Cyndius, obviously, uh, but this is our first Core Cyndius. He's really cool. He has a little sword here, um, just like his Ultra, and also his arm with the little shield is kind of the same exact design as the Ultra. It's just kind of a smaller version with less uh, bending in it. Uh, his little feet pop out. Uh, he's really reminiscent of like older Bakugan uh, with his feet. So I know like um, the uh, one of the the Dragon or whatever I opened uh, a video or two ago. Uh, it is uh, very reminiscent of him of you know build wise. Uh, let's see, does this? What is this? Oh, I closed him a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So um, it looks like the humanoid. Uh, characters that we're going to be getting are going to have like these little kickstands on the back so they might use the bottom half of their uh, like sphere form to be their base for them and then you're just kind of supposed to look at them from the front because like this you know he looks normal but like this he's very very chunky he has a very big butt uh, but um, design wise I really like him uh, I like the, the like X on his chest it's kind of neat uh, and uh, I don't know. He looks really cool. Let's uh, roll him up and see the details from the ball form. Uh, see how easy he is to put together. Sword's kind of difficult. I feel like that's supposed to go in there, though. Oh, there we go. There, there. Uh, is the shield supposed to go before stuff? Yep. This, this little uh, shield goes first, and then this goes down. And that's him close. So a uh, really cool ball form here. You can kind of see his little sword poking out there. So you you know how to grab him out of the box pretty quickly. Really neat. Um, can I get him to stand? Yeah, so that's what I kind of thought was going to happen. Since he's so reminiscent of the old Bakugan, his base is kind of uh, weak. Um, unlike Tritonium, who's just all base. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I think he's going to fall over a lot, which I don't think is going to mean he's going to let go of cores. But I don't think he's just going to, even just kind of setting him here, he kind of, he has a tendency to want to fall over a little bit. But, um, I do like his design. Um, I haven't necessarily found one that's very good. Here's the card. Uh, we have Corsindius for Darkus, a Red Fist and a Helix. Uh, and this is 400B and 4 Attack. And then, of course, I'm going to uh, put that Evo up on the screen for you. Um... Uh, base wise, he's all right. Four fours, not <clears throat> not the worst thing in the world. Uh, these cores though, uh, we get another uh, two fifty uh, three green fist, uh, red fist, which is nice, and then a uh, a little hefty helix trap for three hundred minus one or minus three hundred minus one. So uh, pretty uh, nasty trap core for you there. But uh, I do really like his design. You have to kind of like look into him to see his face in there. It's kind of neat, uh, but I like him. He's like a little soldier. Really cool design. Uh, and then on to Tritonium with his bent, uh, broken card here. Again, not happy about this. I hope this doesn't uh, mean anything for the future. Uh, they did try by putting them in the sleeves, um, but maybe they need to put a little uh, backing now, maybe like a little cardboard insert, you know, with like the, instead of the little poster they give you with the Ultras, maybe they could give you a little uh, checkoff card or something to put behind this to make it more stable in the package. Because I don't even know if that was shipping, the box, or whatever. Uh, my cat is down here enjoying the uh, trash from this here video. And uh, she loves trash. That's what the little, that's what the little bell is. <laughs> anyway, uh, looking at Tertonum, we have a double helix, which uh, can be fun. Um, and then 500B and two attack. And if you land on one of those double helixes that he's bringing, uh, you get plus 100B and two attack. And she just hit the camera. So she loves trash and, uh, and camera pulls. So she's the best for filming videos. She's head first in the trash. All right, anyway, uh, let's put that card down. Uh, we have two helixes here. We have a minus 100 plus four attack and then a 303, which is uh, my favorite right now. Uh, I kind of lean towards the plus 600 minus whatever one uh sometimes when i'm looking for more b power uh, i'm running one of those in my uh little ventus deck right now um but i like this one too anyway uh we know what tertonium what was that tertonium looks like uh is really really chunky i love him because the whole bottom of him is just his base and he can't fall over or anything like that uh when he lands he lands and he doesn't go anywhere you can even kind of spin him like that oh that's actually kind of cool i didn't know you could do that mm. <laughs> anyway uh, it's really neat. Uh, we'll roll them up here. Really easy. Just like that. Fold them together. And of course, his little chin 
has the accent color for whatever faction he's in, so yellow for Ventus here. Uh, you know it's Tritonium by the shell uh, design on his back and uh, his little feet here. So when you roll them open, oh my god, can't ever do it on the first try. Nope, 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 here we go. Nope. There he is. And uh, that's that. So uh, Tritonium's always cool. Uh, I don't even know if I put a spot up there for the uh, evolution, but there you go. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's this first little part of these Wave 4 cores. We're going to open up these Pyrus guys in the next video. I just wanted to break it up for time's sake. And um, other than that, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, uh, as of now, I am concerned uh, because of this card quality coming out of these Wave 4. By now, I think that should be solved. But anyway... Um, if you have anything you want to say, say it down in the comments. Check me out on Twitter. Uh, if you like the map that this video took place on, check out Matrix Mats. They're down in the description. Uh, we can do custom mats for you there. Uh, we can do kind of whatever you want. And we also have like some pre-made uh, cheaper options for you to purchase from us. Uh, if you do end up purchasing one, make sure you check out InkedGaming.com. Uh, we have a coupon code, which is RXXC10. Uh, for 10 percent off your purchase that doesn't have to be for anything for us that can be for anything on their website and they have a ton of gaming options like mats uh sleeves bags things like that uh, a lot of different stuff for you to uh, do like mouse pads and stuff uh so a lot of cool things on inked gaming uh, so check that out uh subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and uh check us out in the next video to open these pyrus wave four cores see you guys later bye